Hey y'all, I'm Jay. I don't think I've ever done a video on this. Uh, I did write a blog about it last year or year before last or possibly a year before that. It was sometime in the fall when the uh, leaves were falling. You see the trees behind me are just completely bare. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I work in St. Louis. I work all over the city. Uh, and I find it funny that the people in, say, Central West End or Clayton or Richmond Heights or, you know, any of those places has got some money. The people, they will spend hundreds of dollars to have people, you know, do their yard work. And these guys, they'll come through and they'll take leaf blowers and they'll blow all their leaves out to the streets. And um, then somebody comes along later whether it's the city or some company i don't know I've, I've never taken the time to really look at the truck but they got these big vacuum cleaner hoses you know they're like a a foot i mean they're they're about this big maybe a little bit bigger around and they will take and they will uh, run those things along the gutters and everything where all the leaves are piled up and it'll grunt them up and um shoot them in the back of a truck or a trailer or whatever. Uh, now, some of the people, they take and they bag those um, leaves, and then I know the city does come and pick those up and take them to an inert landfill. But what I really find odd is the people that are spending all this money to have their yards cleared, six months later, they're having the same guys come back in and bring in, you know, black cow mulch or cypress mulch or, um, you know, just whatever. They're remulching their flower beds. Uh, what I don't understand is you've got this resource that's free, pretty much. Uh, these guys that are, um, they're blowing the, these leaves to the street. Well, if they have a leaf blower with an attachment on them, they can grind them up. And they can put them in the flower beds. Sure, it'll take longer and they could charge you more, but you wouldn't have to pay for mulch again in the spring after you've done that. Now, I've been doing this for oh, three or four years now. Um, we used to have a maple tree here in the yard, but it's gone. It's uh, It started dying a slow death and uh, rotting from the inside. So we had the, the tree taken down. So I don't have maple leaves anymore. But my neighbor over here behind me, they've got pecan trees and um, those things, man, they put out a lot of leaves. So I'll either take and uh, run over them with the, with the lawnmower and, you know, get them in, a, in, a, in the mulch bag, whatever you call it. I'll bag them and then I'll pour them out on my uh, flower beds or I'll take my leaf blower with the bag on it and I'll... Uh, vacuum those up so you know that's what i did on my carport because i had a lot of leaves blowing around so i just vacuumed those things up with that thing now <clears throat> i was talking to one of my neighbors over here um a week or so ago and i asked her if i could get uh, her leaves and she said sure i mean she didn't have a problem with it she was thinking that her husband would be happy because he wouldn't have to get out there and deal with them so uh, yesterday, whenever I was here uh, messing with our yard and our flower beds, uh, he came walking across the street. Uh, he was in his backyard doing it. I got a dog, and I, I don't want anybody's leaves that's got a dog because, you know, dog poop. I don't, you know, particularly want that in my flower beds, which it would be okay, except that, you know, I'd be sucking it up with my leaf blower, and it would just, you know, dirty up my leaf blower. Anyway, he came out, and we talked for a minute, and then he took all of his uh, leaves. He blew them over into one big pile, and, and I vacuumed those things. It took me, you know, six, not six, probably took me 12 or 14 uh, little bags of my leaf blower bags. not that big. It's probably a little more than a cubic foot, but it, uh, I took 10 or 12, 14 uh, bags of leaves out of his yard, clean it up pretty good, and then I poured it over here in my um, 
in my flower beds. Now, I'll show you that in just a few minutes here. But last year, or this year, we were covered up in tomatoes. More tomatoes than I've ever had. I had more tomatoes this year than I've had uh, with all the previous years combined. Uh, part of that's because I was feeding the squirrels peanuts out here on the stump in the yard, you know, keeping the, the squirrels out of my tomatoes. But uh, I was producing way more fruit than I had been. And um, the only thing that I've done here, other than um, putting leaves out for mulch, is I threw out Epsom salt on them, which, you know, the plants, they want the magnesium and the, and the sulfates. But it's not like I'm putting nitrogen out or anything. So the decomposing leaves have done a really, really good thing for me. And I've got some comfrey over there. And my suggestion to you is never plant comfrey in your flower bed because you probably ain't going to get rid of it. I got some lemongrass growing over there too in a big bunch. It looks good. I don't know if it's a annual or a perennial. I hadn't seeded, so it's got to be a perennial. Um, that may slowly take over my flower bed, but you know, it's a grass. If it does, I can probably dig it up and put it somewhere else. And, uh, I've also got basil growing over here beside my stoop and it's grown pretty good. It's three and a half to four feet tall. And I think once again, that's because of the leaves that have been putting down. Now over here on the far right, and I'll show you this in a minute. We've got some juniper that's always laid right on the ground. This thing has grown three feet this year. So, again, I think it's the leaves. I hadn't done anything else. So, anyway, let me take you over there so you can, you can see my flower beds. Okay, so I've got ground up leaves all over my flower bed. They're probably 18 inches deep. Here's comfrey. That stuff is a booger. I mean, it's got good um, medicinal properties, but kind of difficult to get rid of. That right over there is limp, uh, lemongrass. It looks kind of like pampas grass that I see um, in people's yards, but it doesn't have the ornamental top. See, my neighbor over here, he's got pampas grass right there. So there's that. I planted me some, there's, we had an onion that was starting to come out, so I planted one. There's one over there in the corner, and then there's one right here that I, I put down. So, anyway, basil, going all crazy, more than we need. And there's that juniper I was talking about. Seriously, that thing was laying right on the ground until this year and it just started shooting up so anyway um pecan leaves in my neighbor's yard anyway that's uh where i'm at uh, if y'all got leaves use them don't use uh black walnut because that kills a lot of stuff do not use oak because it's got a lot of tannins in it and a lot of plants don't like the tannins. Uh, if you ever look under an oak tree, they never have anything growing under them because, well, one, because they're uh, so shady, and two, because the tannic acid in the leaves doesn't let stuff grow. So anyway, use your resources. You know, something else I do is whenever I'm eating bananas, I throw my banana peels right out here in the flower bed. I don't do that without, of course, because, you know, I don't want apples coming up, but yep, use your resources, use them wisely. So anyway, that's it. Y'all have a good day. God bless you.